Hey Room 5 friends, how are you? For today's activity, it's another kind of school readiness activity. It's another one practicing some things that are really important to get ready for school. Now I know Room 5, you are very, very good at knowing your own name. So I know that when you go to look for your locker or you go to look for your drink bottle or when you look for your placemat when we're having lunch, you're really good at spotting your name. You're also really good at writing your own names and even when we do some artwork, I know you're very good at writing your names on them and then recognizing which is your name. But at primary school, you're gonna have your teacher, but you're also sometimes in your room going to have maybe parents who are helping out sometimes. You might have learning support officers who are there to help out um, your teacher in the classroom. You're gonna have your prep teacher, but there are other prep teachers and sometimes you do activities with the other prep classes. So maybe you're gonna have, sometimes you're not gonna be with your teacher, but you might be with another prep teacher. And you know, you also have maybe a music teacher, maybe a PE teacher, maybe an art teacher. There are lots and lots of different teachers. It's not really like prep, uh, not really like kindergarten where you really just have me and David and Michaela and some other people. Then maybe sometimes music Sue comes but you mainly just have the same teachers all the time in kindergarten. Sometimes in primary school, you might have a whole lot of different teachers that you're gonna to start to get to know. And the tricky thing is, a lot of those teachers have different handwriting. So sometimes when you find your name, it's gonna look a little bit different. And there are times as well, so at primary school, you might have your, it's really important to start uh, learning what your name looks like because you might have your writing book or your maths book. And sometimes at some schools, you might have, you might get your writing book in the morning and you might take it out of your bag. Then you might put it in a tub with all the other writing books and they all look the same. The only thing that's different is the name that's on top. So it's important then to look when you're looking through all the writing books, when you're doing your writing activity, that you can find which one is yours. So you don't pick up the wrong one by mistake. So mums and dads, this is a good activity for you to help your children with. Um, I'm gonna need your help for this activity. We're going to get a whole lot of different bits of paper and we're gonna to try to write a whole lot of different ways. Think of a whole lot of different ways we can write your child's name. So using some different handwriting or using some maybe different letters. I'll show you, I'll show you my examples. So this is what I've done this morning for my name. So I, I know, this says Jim, that's my name. I recognize the capital J, I am, I know that that's my name. So if I see this in a room, I'm pretty sure that that, would, that thing would belong to me. Let's have a look, what else? Oh, now this one's a little bit different. I can see a capital J, so I know J, that's, that's what my name starts with. J M. I know that that's my name. And there's something here, Jim I. Hmm. Well, I have a first name, but I also have a surname. I have a last name, and my last name starts with I. Now, sometimes in primary school, actually probably in your primary school, there are gonna be a couple of kids with the same name. And maybe one of those kids might even have the same name as you. So there might be two Wilbers in your school. There might be two Farines in your school. There might be two Irenes in your school, we don't know. So sometimes when there are two children with the same name, what teachers can do is they can write the first letter of the last name. So that helps me know if it's Jim I, or maybe there's a Jim W or a Jim S or a different Jim. Maybe at your school, you might have two Wilbers. So you might have Wilbur S for Wilbur Stanley, but there might also be Wilbur X or Wilbur A or a different Wilbur, you know? Um, so it's good to start recognizing Jim I, that's still my name. So I would know that this is about me. Let's see what's next. Oh, here we go. So at my school, imagine if there were two people called Jim. Well, I would know that I'm Jim I, Jim S. That's not me, I'm not Jim S. So I would know if I see this, that's not me. What about this name? This starts with a J, oh, so it could be me. J, oh, A-C-K, Jack. I'm not Jack. So this name starts with the same letter as me. That's not my name. Oh, this looks like my name, doesn't it? M, I can see the M. Oh, that's not a J, that's, that's the letter T, 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 T. So this is Tim. Gosh, that's tricky, isn't it? It looks a lot like my name, 
but it's not my name. So I know that this is not mine. Now the other thing is, have a look at these two. These are both my name, they both say Jim. But this person, this, this must be from two different teachers who have two different types of handwriting. So I would have to be very good at knowing what some different ways my name might look. So this is Jim as well, that's still my name, but that teacher might just have a different way of writing it. Another thing that's even trickier, some teachers like to be really creative and fancy and sometimes they might do things like bubble writing. So this is, this still says Jim, but it just looks a bit different because this teacher has been very creative and they've done a bit of bubble writing. I know that that's my name, Jim. Let's see what else we've got. This teacher has used a capital letter and then they've done joined up writing at the end. That's a special way of writing that adults sometimes do where they join their letters together. You won't have to do that in prep. That's not something you do in prep yet. But it is good sometimes to know what your name looks like when the teacher uses joined up writing because some teachers might do that for you. Or maybe some, if a mum or dad is helping out in the classroom, they might be writing out some kids' names and they might use joined up writing because they don't know, um, they don't know whether you can read it or not. So it's good to practice knowing what your name looks like. What about this, this, this name? Let's see. Je, I, so might be my name because it starts with the same two letters. Oh, oh, Jill. That's not my name, but it looks, looks very similar. So that might trick me. If I wasn't sure what my name completely looked like, that might trick me one day. Mm, there we go, that says Jim. Oh, let's have a look at this one. It starts with the same letter as my name. Oh, no. John. I'm not John, so this is not my name. So guys, mums and dads, what I'd like you to do, if you can, get a whole lot of different pieces of paper and just like I did, um, get your child's name and try to either write, so firstly write out your child's name a few times, then try to write out your child's name maybe in a few different handwriting styles. Maybe use your left hand, maybe do some uh, joined up writing, maybe do all capitals, um, and then you can also think of some names that are similar to your child's name. So, for example, in our class, we have Wilbur and William. Now, those names are very similar. The first three letters of those names are the same. Luckily, Wilbur and William are very good at knowing what their names look like, so they don't get confused. But you can think of some names that might be similar to your child's name, and you can put them in there to trick your child. And then lucky last, I would also love you if you could use some examples where you use their surname, their last name a couple of times. So maybe you might write Wilbur S, or you might Irene K, or Farine F. Um, and you can put those around the room to see if you can try to trick your child as well. Then what you can do once you've made all those special name labels, you can blue tack them around your house. You can work out how many are the correct answer. So how many yes are their names and how many are not their names and you can see how fast it takes for your child to go around your house and find all the ones that are their names and to leave all the ones that are not their names. It could be a really fun activity and it's very, very, very good practice for getting used to knowing what your name looks like at school because there are lots of different times when you have to know what your name looks like. I wonder how you will go. Good luck.